All right, let's tie this all into lean management. Uh, lean has four basic principles, elimination of waste, reduce cross, improve quality, and increase speed and response time to the customer. Uh, waste includes defects, include, includes wait time, waiting for sub-assemblies to be brought to you, waiting to respond to the customer. Uh, waste is also considered inventory. We have large inventory amounts that's money sitting on the shelf. And it's also elimination of unnecessary processes, uh, moving stuff in and out of warehouses. Let's just get it right to the floor where it's needed. Um, reduce cost. Of course, if you eliminate waste, you reduce cost. If you improve quality, you reduce cost. If you reduce the time it needs to ship to a customer, you would reduce cost. Um, improve quality. One of the main things by doing our random testing, as we saw, we catch defects at their lowest level. Because uh, typically, a process may have 20 different processes. If you catch the defects early, one, it doesn't propagate through the whole process, and two, if you haven't done that much work on it, the, co the cost of that uh, uh, defect isn't as great as it is with the final product. Last thing we're going to look at is speed and response. One thing a lot of people use is just in time, just in time delivery, which is typically done with a Kanban system, which is a pull system. So the person at the end that needs the product or the sum assembly just pulls it from the system where the, when they need it versus a typical manufacturing process which is push or everything's available before they need it. All right, so let's set it up here. With this example, we're going to look at Edna's cookies. I used to know a woman, Edna, that baked cookies. Oh man, they were delicious. So Edna's chocolate chip cookies. She uses 150 cups of chocolate chips per week. Um, she wants to reduce that number because they can melt in the hot uh, kitchen. They can attract rodents. Can you believe people eat the chocolate chips as they go by? So having less around uh, would improve the quality. Uh, it takes her four hours to process and set up each batch of cookies. Sometimes you'll see process time and setup time split into two different categories. A lot of times they're just lumped together. So she, in a Kanban system, we use containers, you know, enough to make so many cookies. Um, so each container it has can hold four cups of chocolate chip cookies. We want some safety stock just in case the customer wants more quickly you know, we have some room to react here. So we're gonna put in 10% safety stocks. And Edna works eight hours a day, six days a week. So the basic Kanban formula is your demand times your process and setup time, plus one plus alpha, or one plus, this is your safety stock, uh, divided by the container size. So first we calculate Okay, so we're looking at our daily demand. <clears throat> uh, we work six days a week, so our daily demand is uh, 25 cups of chocolate chip cookies. Um, our process and wait time, again, I included them together. It takes us four hours to set up and make the cookies. Um, so that's our process, process and setup time. Um, again, if you have a long setup time, like if you have to change over machinery, sometimes they're broken out separate. But it takes us four hours to process and set up. We work an eight-hour day, so our process and setup time is 0 0.5. We also want safety stock in case the customer wants some more. So that's one plus alpha. Uh, our alpha is our 10%. Um, and one plus 10%, because if we just multiplied this number by 10%, we'd be getting the number of the safety stock. We want 10% more, so it's one plus uh, the percentage. All right, so let's see how this all shakes out. So finally, we just stick the numbers in. Uh, our 25 cups per day, our uh, uh, process wait time is 0.5, our safety stock is 1.1, 1 
and we have four cups in each container, so four that gives us 3.4375. Since we can't make 0.4 of anything, we round up to the next number. That's a real world limitation. Um, because you can't make a, it's kind of like 2.5 kids. You either have two kids or three kids. You can't have a, third, a half a kid. So we round up to the next uh, number. So our Kanban cards are four. Um, so we always, you know, try and arrange so the operator always has four Kanban cards so he can order throughout the day. The just-in-time delivery allows the, cust the baker to pull the products as he needed so he doesn't have extra inventory set sitting around so we don't have to worry about all the costs of inventory. Um, and again, it actually reduces our total inventory because uh, our max inventory is we're only going to have four Kanban systems. So each container holds four cups. So four times four is 16 cups. Um, roughly that means that you know, our suppliers got to deliver eight or nine times during the week in order to keep us in production.